November most importantly has Thanksgiving but it also is Warrior Care Month. The military health system stated, the DOD, military services, and collaborating organizations will use November to celebrate the strength and resilience, physically, mentally, and spiritually, of our wounded, ill, and injured service members, as well as their families and caregivers, raise awareness of the warrior care resources and programs available today, and inspire year-round discourse regarding today's warrior care priorities. Army Command Sergeant Major Robert Luciano senior enlisted advisor of the Defense Health Agency, wrote, and the Office of Warrior Care Policy, WCP, adds, the WCP website has eight quick links that provides information on different topics that are important all wounded warriors and their caregivers. In addition, they have seven programs that they manage, the Disability Evaluation System, Recovery Coordination Program, Military Caregiver Support, Education and Employment Initiative, Operation Warfighter, Military Adaptive Sports Program, and a National Resource Directory. The latter is a website that provides access to tens of thousands of services and resources at the federal, state, and local levels that support recovery, rehabilitation and community integration, for service members, wounded warriors, veterans, and their families. Resources range from homeless assistance to benefits and compensation to volunteer opportunities. Secretary of Defense Mattis recently said that there is no higher priority for this department than caring for those who have sacrificed so much. That is a statement with which all of us can agree. Mm -hmm.